guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I am on a bit of an irregular schedule. It's Sunday. I don't typically post on Sundays, but I wanted to participate in this fun challenge that is hosted by Mama Dares to DIY and Sweet Urban Rose as well as Terranium and Crafts. And they had invited us to DIY something with a jar or a bottle and just be creative and f have fun with it. I had uh, finally gotten to go thrifting. The thrift store finally opened this weekend and I had picked up this uh, wine jug or is it a, a beer jug and it was two dollars. I thought that was a pretty good deal and then I um, decided I'm going to paint it and the supplies that I'm gonna need to upcycle this bottle jug are so you need some hot glue I am using some rope some Annie Sloan chalk paint in original which used to be old white and then I'm going to do my fancy schmancy transfers that I love to do lately and I am into this French provincial uh, farmhouse designs so I had printed this from the I did a garden fairy. I will have the free printables linked down in the description box so you can print them yourself. And I actually just printed these at 50%. And then you will need some water and some clear tape, packing tape. So without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is clean the sticker off and paint my bottle. And like I mentioned, this is a challenge, so I will have all of these ladies' channels linked down below for you to check them out, as well as the playlist for this challenge, so make sure you check all of it out. There's going to be tons of inspiration there for you, and I can't wait to see what everybody creates. This will probably need two coats, and I'm not going to paint the top, just I'm going to kind of stop right there. And I wetted my brush with water while well, I had it just soaking in water so that way it's a little bit easier to uh, spread the paint. I just find sometimes when I'm painting the glass it's easier if the brush is wet. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. I hope you like my video and I hope you decide to stick around and press that subscribe button. I post DIY videos several times a week and I also do some cooking and cleaning as well. And I would love it if you subscribed. And I'm actually going to paint the handle as well. And it's okay if you get a little bit of, if it's messy, because that's where the rope's gonna go. So I'm going to let this fully dry before I add a second, second coat. So here it is, two coats of it done. I think it looks pretty good. And now I'm going to put the rope on top. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom. wrapped and now I'm going to do my transfer if you haven't seen how I do this before it's a, gonna be a bit of a tutorial for you but if you have seen it then uh, I'm going to then it's not gonna be anything new so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to I think I'm gonna go with this design save this one for next time 
and I'm going to cut it out as close as I possibly can to the design. So here it is and I'm going to take my tape just going to cut off this part and I'm going to tape it can also use one of I like using this little tool from Pampered Chef and just make sure any bubbles are gone now I'm going to put this in the water and let it soak for a couple minutes okay so it's been a couple minutes I'm just gonna give it a try and to know when it's ready if you rub it and the paper comes off you know you waited in enough time to cut the tape down a little bit okay and now I'm going to place it I think I'm gonna go right here a little bit so it's on I'm just going to uh, touch up the paint a little bit and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in my decor. So here it is. I think it turned out really, really cute. I love the way the white looks against the brown rope. The transfer looked looks really good. I think it could look a touch better, um, but um, nevertheless, I am satisfied with the way it looks. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And like I mentioned before, if this is your first time stopping by, we'd love it if you press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when my upcoming videos are posted. I would like to thank the hostesses for hosting this fun challenge and make sure you check their channels out as well as the playlist, which will all be linked down below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.